He said, uh, good to have you here, man. Um, I wanted to talk about the newest uh, legislation by BC government. Um, but what do you know about it? Um, I'm, I'm no expert by any means, but uh, I've done a fair bit of reading on it. And um, what's come up is, is a BC government came out with a policy uh, or a legislation uh, trying to uh, facilitate uh, more units uh, being available to the public. Uh, so they're hopefully uh, trying to demand or, or trying to increase supply in the market uh, to kind of stabilize housing um, affordability, I think is the best way to put it. It's not just pricing on um, homes. It's, it's, yeah. it's, you know, rents and, and uh, the cost of individual units, I guess, as well. Nice. Um, but uh, they're trying to increase the number of units. That's right. So, yeah, that, I, I think it's a nice initiative uh, by BC government, man, uh, from... Like you said, it's it's very very new, so the details are unclear. We're gonna find find out more in the next coming days or weeks or months. Uh, but what we know so far is, uh, in in bigger towns and cities, if you have a lot less than three thousand square feet, you should be able to build three units in there. If it's over three thousand, you can do four units, and if you're close to rapid transit, then you should be able to do six units per single family, like per detached lot. Yeah, I think in theory that's that sounds about what I read as well. Um, they they use square meters, but uh, it's about three thousand square yeah. feet. Um, something to do with being on a a, a transit service uh, for the uh, the six unit uh, lots, um, and those are uh, large lots. Um, this will apply uh, primarily to municipalities with a population size of uh, five thousand people or more. Yeah. Uh, Which is most most, most towns most and communities cities, right? across yeah. the country. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, something I did read, um, and and you could let your followers know as well, is um, there are certain um, larger municipalities in in BC that have already uh, taken uh, the bull by the horns, I guess. Okay. Uh, and started to implement uh, similar guidelines. Uh, Vancouver has. Uh, already announced similar guidelines in place. Um, the uh, the readings that I showed uh, showed that uh, uh, Kimberley, Kelowna, uh, Vancouver, and Victoria nice. uh, were markets that had already adopted um, some of uh, of what's going to come down the pipeline already yeah, in it advance. It's good to see those changes. Like that's the positive to come out of it. Like people will have more affordability if they can have like a smaller piece of the pie instead of somebody trying to buy like a million dollar house or a two million dollar house somewhere they'll be able to divide it in like for example one sixth and have smaller be able to buy a smaller unit just to get their foot in the door and i think uh, government of bc has heard people one complaint was um uh, from the buyer's end was housing is too expensive and from the builder's end took too much to build a property, like uh, too, too much time. Uh, so cities uh, were backlogged, uh, permitting and stuff costed way too much money than it should be. So that's another thing that the province, I, I think, is trying to do is uh, to streamline the process and make it the same everywhere. So you can get your permit faster, you can build faster and um, uh, or change the affordability where people can buy, buy into like a smaller place versus uh, uh, buying a condo or a townhouse, which is still very, very expensive. Yeah, and and you know a lot of it is is going to come back to like having supply in the market. Yeah. Um, if we if we can find a way to increase the supply, um, that will um, that will entail you know price stability and yeah. and I mean I I don't think their intent is to have pricing come down um on on inventory and and stock that's out there okay um but maybe s find some stability in the market over the next uh you know mid to interim long-term period okay right um their uh, their basis for the the small scale multi-unit legislation is um based on um something that was done in the city of auckland um in 2016 okay. Um, they uh, they implemented the same program, and I think over five years, uh, the city of Auckland added uh, twenty thousand um, twenty thousand household units nice. uh, for for them. Uh, now you take a city that like um, of the size of Surrey, um, and we're adding uh, 
about 1,200 people per month right now Wow! Uh, into the city of Surrey. This, this could allow us an opportunity to find a way to catch up. Um, you know, with current, current inventory coming in with what's being built, yeah. uh, this will allow, you know, some of the smaller scale developers and builders to build out multi-unit products uh, yeah. that will add inventory into the market. So, But I've heard a lot of people are worried at the same time about uh, the infrastructure overload, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one side, yeah, y there's more affordability, there's more choice, uh, things are happening faster. Um, but uh, like you said, 1,200 people, did you say a month? That's what I heard this morning, right. actually. In, in uh, just uh, the Surrey Board Surrey, of Trade, yes. City of Surrey, right? Uh, um, uh, that, that's a lot of people, and that puts burden on hospitals, schools, parks, everything. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they have another plan to address that part of the equation as well. Um, there's money coming in from the government, but I think it's more for building out processes. Yeah. Um, the, um, the part and parcel of, of, of building and developing property entails um, the city collecting uh, developmental costs from builders and developers. Um, yep. I read an article, I want to say about a week back, that the scale of what they're looking to charge builders and developers is, is looking, they're looking to increase. Okay. Um, so, so they're increasing the fees. That's Pe my understanding. <laughs> I'd have to go dig up the article. People are again. already complaining and it's yes, too much. It is, yes. Right? Yeah. But I understand the inflation and everything has gone up. Right? Like yeah. the, with inflation going up, like prices have gone up. Um, uh, but yeah, that, that, that seems like it's going the wrong way. I um, heard, uh, and and I, I I'm I'm going from memory, but if I remember correctly, um, I, I heard that the increase will be like two and a half x uh, of what the uh, what the DCC costs or developmental costs were for builders and developers. Wow! Um, in the next two to three years, that's uh, crazy. Yeah, and and you know what? It's it's it, it, it'll it's an unfortunate cost, which will actually be passed on to the consumer at the end. Exactly, uh, people at the bottom have to pay it at yeah. the end of the day, right? So yeah, yeah, and 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 that's uh, I think an unfortunate piece, but uh, at the end of the day, those people will receive um, goods um, like the infrastructure that will be built around those communities. Yeah, uh, will be exchanged for that money. Um, so. Their kids will go to schools that will be built in those communities, or you know the the roads and infrastructure that will be serviced by the, by the, by the city. That's awesome. Um, will come from that proceeds uh, of development, right? Well, that's fantastic, man. Well, uh, the time will tell. What the it's an exciting news, but the yeah. time will tell what becomes of it. Yeah. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us, man. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.